Well, the annual Street of Dreams kicks off this weekend, and for the first time in the event's 47-year history, the street has landed in Yamhill County. Love it. So fun to see the design trends and all the cool new tech built into these homes. Bryant Clerkley is joining us live in Newburgh with a little sneak peek. Okay, Bryant, you had a chance to look around. What do you think? It's a beautiful house, Brenda. Hey, Drew. Yeah, we're in wine country for the first time with this Northwest Natural Street of Dreams. I'm here with the lady that designed the inside of this wonderful, wonderful home, Brittany Tiffany. And which design company are you with? Tiffany Home Design. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. So as people come through this house, what are they going to see this weekend? They're going to see a beautiful, what I call rustic farmhouse. Um, out in Oregon wine country, of course, which is amazing for people to come out here. Um, it's kind of a little bit further out for us for this Northwest Natural um, tour, but we're excited to have people come, enjoy the beautiful views. Um, it's a little early morning here for the views right now, but they're stunning. And we have a beautiful, just casual, more just rustic farmhouse, casual elegance. And you talked a lot about these hardwood floors that are kind of unique. Talk about that. So the company we partnered with was called Hewn, and we had them um, provide all of the beautiful wood flooring, all the beams, trim work in the um, ceilings, trim work the doors um, with our beautiful hardware, and all the exterior siding. What are some of your favorite things about the inside of this home? Well, I think um, if you kind of notice, we really went for more of a textured, layered look. And then I really um, went a little overboard, I think, but stunning on the fixtures, um, like these beautiful light fixtures in the great room. And so is this sort of a wine country theme? You said that, you know, this house is for entertaining. It is. I really think that the person that's going to be um, living in this home is going to bring their friends, family, enjoy this beautiful kitchen. We also have a back kitchen, which is also called a scullery. So I just think people are going to come here, maybe go out wine tasting during the day, come back, enjoy a meal together. And the Street of Dreams starts July 23rd and goes till August 14th, correct? Correct. And how do people get tickets to this? You can go online um, on the website and you can get tickets. Um, parking is a little, um, little bit challenging this year, so make sure and read all the details. So people can come, enjoy the houses, take take on these wonderful views that the homes have, and then they can go and visit the wineries and check out some of the other things to do here in Yamhill County for the 2022 Street of Dreams. Back to you, Drew, Brenda. Well, the 2022 Street of Dreams kicks off this weekend in Yamhill County. First time it's ever been held in Yamhill County, and the home tours begin this Saturday. Yeah, you get to see the bells and whistles and the latest in home construction. Bright Clerkley is there for us and uh, you've been checking out some of the homes. They look beautiful with beautiful views, Bryant. Yes, great views, Nina, and the inside is just as nice. I'm here with Chris Miller. He's in charge of the technology inside this home. But first, we're going to take you inside one of the coolest parts. This is a speakeasy here. So, Chris, tell us a little bit about what a speakeasy is. Well, speakeasy is, you know, it could be a lot of different things, but um, whether you want to get together with your friends and hang out or, you know, Pacific Office, the reason why we set up the house this way is to be able to work from home, have employees over, do video collaboration, utilize the technology, computers, uh, commercial grade wi, wi Fi, all those types of things. And Chris, what kind of technology did you install in this house? What are people going to see when they come in here? What kind of features? Well, we did uh, video collaboration boards, video conferencing, commercial grade Wi-Fi, um, cybersecurity with uh, commercial grade firewalls, um, just a lot of different things that we do, copiers, um, printing, we did uh, security cameras with Verkata, we did a lot of different things, all the things that Pacific Office sells to our commercial partners. We also now uh, partnered with uh, the Street of Dreams and did this house here. And the house is over 6,000 square feet. What are some of your favorite features about this home? I love this room. I love the fact that you could literally work from home and have all the conveniences of you would in your office. Um, it's just a really cool idea and um, love the technology in this house. So the technology is um, pretty much all upgraded. How long did it take you guys to install all this stuff? Uh, well, it's been an ongoing process. Uh, we partnered with Lewis Audio, and, and they did all the uh, video and the TVs, the big um, theater room. Um, so I would say probably about, it's been ongoing, but over 30 days. 
Nice, nice. So, yes, Northwest Natural Street of Dreams 2022, Yam Hill County, July 23rd is when it starts and it goes until August 14th. You can get your tickets on the Street of Dreams website or you can uh, get them at the door when you come out here. And Chris, why should people come to the Street of Dreams this year? Well, I think this is just an absolutely beautiful site. The views, um, all the different builders. Uh, there's just a lot of different things to see here, and it's just it's going to be a great experience. All right, thank you so much, Chris Miller, right here. And yeah, come on out, guys. Yam Hill County for the first time. Right, quickly for us. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at the views that people are going to see when they come up here to the Street of Dreams in Newburgh. And I'm here with Brett Howe. He's with Northwest Natural. So he'll tell us more about the event that starts Saturday. So, Brett, the event starts on Saturday. Uh, it opens at 10 a.m. And then you guys have four houses in Newburgh and two in McMinnville. So let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so Northwest Natural has been the title sponsor for the Street of Dreams since 1976. Uh, so this year we're really excited to showcase Oregon wine country. Obviously you've seen the views already. We're excited to be out here and we think everybody else will be too. And when people come through these homes, what are they going to notice? What are they going to see? So they're going to see an array of high efficiency natural gas appliances. Each one of these homes is going to feature natural gas furnaces up to 98% efficiency, as well as a number of fireplace inserts that offer benefits such as uh, continuing to work in the event of a power outage, as well as uh, Renai tankless water heaters that come with Hugo backup batteries that can perform also when the power is out. And what are some of your favorite things about these homes, Brett? I, I'm sure you've been through them. Uh, what do you like about them? Well, being a gas man, I have to say that my favorite thing about these is the outdoor living spaces where we're going to feature uh, natural gas pizza ovens as well as natural gas fireplaces in the backyards as well. And for people that have never been to the Street of Dreams before, tell us a little bit about the event and what it is. Yeah, so the event is designed to showcase the latest in natural gas technology and also showcase what the builders can do with these homes. I think when people come out here, what they're going to see is an array of new technologies, but also just how well we can showcase beautiful Oregon wine country and with these homes. Um, and this house is 6,700 6, square feet. Uh, Nina and Drew, and we're in the bonus room, and Chandler is one of the builders here. And Chandler, tell, me, tell us a little bit about this room. Yeah, so this is the bonus room is what we're calling it, and uh, it features a 98-inch screen TV. So uh, not, a, not a bad spot for a movie night. Um, we also have a 65-inch screen TV in here as well. So, uh, yeah, multiple options. Uh, got a wet bar in here so this is my one of my favorite parts of the house and how many like rooms does this house have Chandler uh, this is a four bedroom five and a half bathroom house and it also features the bonus room and the speakeasy and you were talking about these barn doors right here that lead to the speakeasy yeah so these are locally made by John door and uh, we wanted to kind of give the illusion of a, of a hidden room so we did uh, did these barn doors to slide into the speakeasy Nice, nice. And you were talking a little bit about the challenges that uh, come with building a house in 2022. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it's tough. Materials, I mean, there was a lot of times where we're getting things, you know, the same day they're supposed to be installed, which makes it a challenge. Broken things in boxes. So it was, uh, it was a tough one, but, but we made it through. <laughs> How long did it take to build this home? We poured the foundation the first week of April. So normally on a house this size, we'd want a year and, you know, we're about three and a half months. So <laughs> you finished it pretty quick. Yeah. So that's that's amazing. What are some of your other favorite features of this home? Uh, I would say the technology by Pacific Office Automation. Uh, if you want a, a, a work in your home, uh, this is this is the spot to do it. <laughs> nice. Thanks so much, Chandler.